Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you had a great week. I sure did. And let me tell you something. I, If you guys have been following me for a while now, I, I was telling you that I cannot wait to tell you my testimony because I can feel that thing that I've been asking God for. I can feel it coming. And lo and behold, this past week, you know, there was a major, major, major breakthrough. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to share it with you guys very soon. We want we want the breakthrough to be broken in first before we share it with the world, right? So we're gonna give it a little bit of time and then I'll be I'll be making a whole video about my personal testimony and how God has been working with me and the things that I have seen through my wilderness season, through my isolation season, through my um you know, everything that I went through to where I am today, I want to just share it with you guys. But before then, we're going to get into the word uh, or we're going to get to prayer. OK, so in Jesus name, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, I want to thank you so much for everything you've done for us in our life. Thank you for gathering all of us here today. Thank you for being a lamp to our feet and a light to our, our path. But I pray that you continuously to bless us in everything that we do. Lord, I pray that the people listening to the sound of my voice right now, I pray that you bless them. I pray that you pour into them. I pray that today as they're listening to my the, the words coming out of my mouth, I pray that you open up their hearts, you open up their their ears, and you, you give them the ability to retain the information, to to understand where you want them to uh, to receive the message, what, what you want them to hear, God. But I pray that everything coming out of my mouth are all of yours and none of mine, God. Make myself small so you can be big within me, God. So that you can speak freely through me, God. So that none of the words coming out of my mouth are any of mine, God. Thank you so much, God, for answering my prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Okay, so you guys. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about, I wanted to, I guess, accountability, right? Accountability. Um, Today, when my pastor was preaching and he made one small statement that I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is a lot of people's problems right now. They don't even recognize it. A lot of you might be experiencing things where you feel like, why is this happening to me? Um, why am I going through? And if you guys can hear like a cackling sound, I'm frying some chicken. <laughs> I'm frying some chicken right now. I got to make sure it's good. Um, but basically, you're going through something right now where you feel like, Okay, I'm experiencing this over and over again. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? But God wants you to know that if you recognize your faults, if you recognize what you are doing wrong in the situation, for example, if you've been in the same type of relationship over and over again, you're dating the same narcissistic type of person over and over again, at some point you have to recognize that it's something that you are doing that you need to, to, to fix. Every time you go through something, you should always always look for what you can do about it what you can do to make sure it doesn't happen again that is always something that i highly encourage everyone to do no matter even if it's a good situation even if it's a bad situation and you guys ended badly always look at what you yourself could have done to make things better how, how you can improve things how you can avoid things from happening how, where you can set boundaries things like that you need to learn how to take accountability for some of the things that you partook in because at some point if you're dating the same type of people you're gonna have to look at yourself and say okay what is it that i'm doing but another thing that i wanted to mention is it doesn't have to be dating it could be anything in life it, it could be you know friendships it can be work business like anything you have to recognize there's something about myself that i need and, and the thing about it is if you don't recognize that thing or you don't ask god to reveal it to you so maybe you don't know but you don't ask God to reveal this thing to you. Like, what is it that I am doing continuously? And you don't confess to yourself that I need to change. I need to fix this. You're going to be repeating the same thing over and over again. If you don't know where the problem is, if you don't know where you need to take accountability, you're going to keep repeating the same things over and over and over again. Listen, if you don't speak out loud, I need to change this about myself. Because some people, what they do is they believe... This is me. This is who I am. If you got to accept me, this is the, this is a bad, this is something that you have to accept about me. But if it's a bad thing that can be changed, then it's not who you are. It's probably a habit that you picked up, maybe growing up or whatever the case is. But if there's something about you that you know that is, is very off-putting for a lot of people, maybe it's the way you speak, maybe you're yelling always loud, or maybe you're a person that, you know, you don't know how to communicate or... Maybe you're the person that just, 
you know, dresses very provocatively when you're going to business meetings and people don't take you seriously or whatever the case is, you need to look within yourself. Like, why is it that they're taking this person seriously, but they're not taking me seriously? Why is it that this new person, they don't know this person, they took that person seriously, but when I walked into the room, they look at me, the first thing they do is they talk to me crazy. Look within yourself. What is it that you are doing? There has to be something. I might have to lower the volume, the temperature on this chicken. There has to be something that you are doing that is causing people to look at you and, and, and look at you in a way that they don't respect you, that they don't, they don't appreciate your talent or whatever the case is. Look at yourself. Take accountability. And I'm telling you, when you do these things, your life will change because then you realize that I do have a part to play in some of this stuff, right? Maybe your baby mama or your baby daddy is not the greatest, but you need to take accountability is to say, I chose to lay down with this person. What could I have seen? What, what could I have done to avoid these things from happening? Or maybe it's your job and you're just like, yeah, you know, job work is always crazy. And I, I hate my, my manager's always doing this. Okay. Why is your manager always doing that to you specifically and not your other coworkers? You have to look at things from a broader perspective and say, what is causing this person to look at me this and think that what they're doing is correct? What they're doing is okay. Okay. And once you do that, I promise you, you'll be more aware. You'll be more um, vigilant about these things and you will strive to do better. You strive to, to be a better person. But um, that's just the word that I came on here to say. It's not specifically a word from God. I mean, not a word from God, a word from a Bible verse or anything like that. But this is something that God pushed me to say because my pastor mentioned something along those lines. And and God told me, you need to write this down. You need to share it with some people because they don't know. You know what I'm saying? They, they you, you guys might not recognize you know, oh, this is who I am. I'm just a loud person. I just am a sarcastic person. I just, this is how I dress. They need to accept me for who I am. Yeah, they can accept you for who you are, but that doesn't mean they're going to treat you the way you want to be treated. You know, some things you can't change. You can't change how someone treats you, but you can change something about yourself that will cause them to treat you differently. Maybe it's the way that you set your boundaries and you stick to them. Maybe it's the way that you dress. Maybe it's the way that you, you look. Maybe it's the, maybe the fact that you are always frowning. You're not smiling. People might look at you and you, they might call you a mean person. So you don't make friends. Things of that nature. You need to look deep within yourself is to figure out what is it that I need to change about myself and work on. I wouldn't even say change because that's, that gives off a negative connotation for whatever reason. But what is it about myself that I need to work on, that I need to fix, that I need to... To, to do better on so that I can make my life a lot easier. Okay, you guys? I just wanted to, to throw that out there. Okay? I love you guys. And remember, God loves you even more. Bye.